And always setting up your weights if you're using them at the top of your mat. And come into a cross-legged position. Try to cross the, the shin that you don't want to cross. So kind of your off leg. And if you're sitting on a block or sitting on the floor or a pillow, just root down through your sit bones. Okay? So you're grounding down, you're finding that foundation. And uh, breathing in, getting nice and tall, stacking your shoulders over. I'm going to mute you guys. I like your music though. I don't know who's playing that, but it's, I like it. <laughs> so go ahead and start to, um, start to exaggerate your breath. We're going to go through some three-part breath here. The yoga instructors will probably know what that is. So for three-part breath, it's like you're filling up a glass. So you're going to come from your, what we call uh, your pelvic core. Inhale the breath to your pelvic core and then bring it into what we call the solar core and then the vital core. Fill it all the way up. So you're kind of stopping at each one of those, those positions in your body. And then at the top, you're going to pause at the top so there's no breath, no movement, no vibration. And as you exhale, it's like you're emptying out the cup from the top down. So the first few times, maybe even bring your hands to those parts as you fill up. And then as you empty, they come back down. So it's a breath that you kind of have to do on your own. I can cue it, but you have to feel it as you inhale from the pelvic core to the solar core to the vital core. Pause and then exhale through your mouth all the way back down like you're emptying your glass. All right, so just focus on that intention, bringing the breath to those three parts of your body and then exhaling completely. And as you practice this, it'll get a little bit more fluid. And your breath will get a little bit deeper. more really intense um, sending the breath to those four, three cores the pelvic core the solar core and the vital core and as the breath becomes a little more fluid see if you can relax on that exhale relax your eyes your jaw your shoulders Settling into your space. Always take care of your body. Put the weights down if you need to. Modify where you need to. Finish up one more breath. Not really, I hate when I say that. You're gonna keep breathing. <laughs> so it's not your last breath. Bring your chin to your chest. Still sitting up nice and tall. And just a little bit of neck work. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. And maybe move from side to side for a moment, and then we'll add a little traction. Still trying to move with the breath, inhaling in one direction, exhaling in the other. And when your ear comes to your right shoulder again, you can add a little bit of traction, nothing pulling, but you can grab uh, over your head, your fingertips touch your ear, and just let the weight of your arm relax the scaling muscles in the side of your neck. Release your hand, slowly bring the chin back to center. Inhale, and then bring the left ear to the left shoulder. And again, you can add the traction. 
So if it doesn't feel good to your neck, anything that does not feel good to your neck, you don't want to do and bring it back to neutral. Release, and then just with a few breaths, inhaling in one direction, exhaling as you come back through the center. So look, working out any kinks. And coming back to center, go ahead and lift up your chin and bring your eyes to about half mat. So it's got a nice soft, uh, dristy or focal point. Inhale the arms up. Find length in the spine, shoulders are back and down. We're going to eagle the arms, so bring your right arm under the left. Go ahead and cross the hands. If it's available to you, your thumbs are going to face you. Otherwise, you can come right here. As you inhale, extend your fingertips forward, so you're really squeezing the shoulders together. Exhale as you draw back down. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Holding it here, releasing the hands, just give yourself a little hug, almost a cat back. And then release the arms to the sky again. Inhale, shoulders back and down. This time it's gonna be the opposite arm. So, what did I do? Right arm under left. Inhale, reach, exhale. Inhale, reach, and exhale. Last one, inhale, reach, and exhale. Hold it there, release the arms, round the back, a little hug. And on your exhale, extend the arms up one more time. And then bring them out in front of you. You can pause here and do a little bit of more of a, um, I guess it's cobbler's pose almost before coming up into your tabletop for Chakra Vakasana. Knees together, hands as wide as the mat. And always feel free to cushion your knees here, but tuck the toes, hands are wide, knees together, movement side to side. And then big circles coming around hips to heels, pressing to the big toe mount. So you're stretching the toes, you're stretching the fascia in the middle of your feet. And then switch directions. Coming back to center, set up for an aligned tabletop. Spread your fingers, index fingers parallel, toes tucked, inhale. In through the nose as you come up to cow pose. Soft seal the lips, exhale through the nose to cat. Five count inhale, four, three, two, and one. Pause at the top, exhale through the nose, five, four, three, two, and one. A couple more times on your own breath, depth of breath, a little more movement, depth of movement, and round. One more time, and this time as you come into cat, pause there, so you're rounded back, your head is down from here, with your rounded back, bring your hips to your heels. Come up to your fingertips, press your chest through your shoulders, release your neck, so you're pressing into the toes. Back in the tabletop. Go ahead and walk your hands back, so you're halfway sitting on your heels. Let's extend the arms up. Bring them behind you, clasp the hands behind you, press the knuckles to the floor, open your heart. Nice relaxed neck, so you don't want the chin way up. You want a nice um, long neck, no wrinkles. And then go ahead, finally come off your toes, hips to heels, and then maybe the hands come off the lower back, a little bit more of a stretch, and then release the hands to the lower back. 
and then back into tabletop, a little bit of wrist work. So starting fingertips towards you. Okay, if this is too much to do both at the same time, you can do one at a time. And then just rock back and forth, the heels of the hands lift off. And then my favorite, hold the stretch and then bend your elbows to get into your fingers. I think all 10 of my fingers just cracked. And then coming off of it, make a fist. So it was like if you were using your weights here. From here, one at a time, come onto the top of the hand, then come to a fist, the top of the hand. Just a couple times before rolling out your wrists and your fingers. And we'll do a little bit side body work here. So from your tabletop, we're gonna come into a modified side plank. So bring your right knee a little bit closer to the midline of your mat, and you're gonna swing the right foot out. So we're coming to this modified side plank. Your right hand, your right knee, and your left heel are in one line. So as you inhale, reach the left arm over the ear line. Lengthening from your toes, your left toes, to your left fingertips. Maybe even spin the ribs towards the sky. And then we're gonna come up to gate pose. So come all the way up so you're standing on your right knee. Inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your left hand to your left thigh and we'll lift and open. Can be the shin too. So try to keep the Try not to drop the shoulder, but extend, spinning the ribs towards the sky. We'll do one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Right fingertips down, lift and open. Inhale up. And exhale. Left hand down. One more time to this right side. Inhale. Right hand down and lift and open. And then just spin it around to tabletop. And we'll do the other side. So for the other side, bring your left knee more in the middle of your mat. You're gonna swing the foot out, left hand in line with left knee, and bring the right arm over the ear line. Lengthening, all right, come on up, inhale. Right hand down, lift and open. really tell the differences in the sides of the body. Inhale, left fingertips down. And one more time, both sides. Inhale, right fingertips down, lift and open. Inhale up, left fingertips down, last stretch. And then come back to tabletop, and then we're going to come into your first down dog. So if there's any other warm-up you want to do, do that. Otherwise, set, set your hands, tuck the toes, and pedal it out. Organically moving through the hips, the shoulders, just letting the head fall heavy. Going through your little warm-up. So a couple more breaths, pedal it out. And then bend your knees a lot. Walk your hands slowly to your feet. Once you get there, we'll go into ragdoll. So why don't we do a little neck traction. So the feet are as wide as your mat, your torso to your thigh bones. Um, you can build this pose, maybe start by clasping the hands behind the head and just letting the weight of your upper body give you a little neck traction. And as always, if this doesn't feel good, don't do it. From there, whatever you want to do in ragdoll, kind of sway the hips side to side. <clears throat> Maybe grab opposite elbows, but truly just surrendering, finding the four corners of your feet, releasing any tension from your eyes and your jaw, and then a little swaying movement side to side. You can even just walk the hands from side to side.
And then go ahead and come back to center. Bring either your toes to touch or underneath your hip bone. Coming all the way up, mountain pose, all the way up. Inhale. Shoulders back and down. Find length in the side body. One more breath. Inhale. Cactus the arms. Open the heart. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Forward fold. Uttanasana. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Fingertips to the shins. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Step it back to a nice strong plank. So you're pushing the floor away. You're stacking your joints. Navel to spine. And we'll hinge forward like you're going to go to Chaturanga, but lower all the way down to the mat. From here, bring your fingertips to the sides. Feet are hip width. Point your toes, kneecaps lift, navel's engaged. Inhale, lift the chest. Only to where the lower back feels good. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one here, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Bring the hands back under your shoulders, tuck your toes, and then lift your kneecap so your legs are engaged. You can come to your knees in a plank, or you can come up as one unit, and then we'll come to down dog. So we'll go through some sun A's here. Any variation, you know, you never have to do chaturanga, you can always lower all the way down. So do the version that best um, is going to support your practice today. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float, top of the mat. Fingertips to the shins, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold. Flip the palms, rise up, inhale, mountain pose, exhale, open your heart. Inhale up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Plant the hands, jump or step, high plank. Chaturanga. If you do Chaturanga, just make sure the shoulders don't dip past the elbows to downward facing dog. Again, inhale, bend the knees, float or step, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Flip the palms, rise up, activating the muscles in the arms. Open your heart. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. High plank. Go ahead and come through to downward facing dog. All right, so we're going to go into sun, sun B. This might be driving me crazy. All right. Inhale, right leg high. Go ahead and bend that knee and open your right hip. So you're stacking the right hip on the left. And be careful not to collapse that left shoulder. Roll out your ankle and then just find some knee circles so you'll get a little bit of blood in the hip joint. And then hold that three-legged dog with the open hip. Inhale. And then bring your knee to your nose. Engage the core. Step the foot on the inside of the right thumb and maybe help your foot forward so the knee and the ankle are in line. From here, rock back and forth. Even go side to side. Always like a little bit of movement here in low lunge. And then coming to low lunge, we're going to come to standing splits. So take a look at your right foot. Root down through the four corners and start to launch lifting the left leg, flexing the left toes or the foot, and then fold over the right leg. Continue to lift the left leg as you engage. Think about wrapping the muscle around the bone. Alright, from here, on your fingertips or hands on blocks, inhale, as you exhale, bend the right knee and then bring the left knee to your nose. So you're engaging your core. Inhale, two more just like that. Knee to nose. Last one, inhale. Knee to nose. Standing split to Jiva squat. So you're going to bring the left knee behind, tap the foot, big twist. Two more. Inhale, press it back. 
Exhale, Jiva. Last one. Inhale, press it back. Exhale, Jiva. All right, coming back to standing splits. With control, step it back to low lunge. Drop the left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. All right, pressing into the back toes. You're keeping the length in the side body, pressing the hips forward. So you have a nice inner thigh, inner groin stretch. Bring the hands to the floor. Half on them. Shift back, straighten the right leg. Try to get the hips square by dragging the right heel back slightly. Point and flex. So a couple things here. We're going to inhale straight forward. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Couple breaths here. And then inhale, lengthen forward again. Bring the left hand on the outside of your right thigh or to your right calf and fold. So you're really, if you're, your IT bands are tight, you're going to feel them. You'll know exactly where they are. All right, walking it back around, low lunge, straight up crescent lunge. Inhale. All right, you can bring your hands to your ribs, draw the lower ribs back. Right, so you want a nice neutral pelvis. Bring the arms up. Inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and open up to warrior two. So just have to drop the back foot. Keep rotating the right knee towards the right pinky toe. Shoulders back and down. Left hand to your left thigh. Flip the palm. Reach up to the sky and lengthen the right side body. High five the, the back of your room. Reverse warrior. Inhale. Extended side, right elbow to right knee, or you can bring the hand to the floor. So your left hand can be the sky, to the sky or over the ear line. We're just going to float a couple times from reverse warrior to extended side. So as you inhale, reverse warrior. As you exhale, extended side, reach. This time maybe get the, the left arm over the ear line. One more, inhale. And exhale. From here, come back to low lunge. High plank, maybe lift the right leg at Kapata, and then go through your vinyasa. To downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg high, bend that knee, open the hip, push equally into the floor. Right? Don't let that right shoulder collapse and then some circles here so your left knee is coming all the way around kissing your right knee all the way around and then hold that open hip position inhale exhaling knee to nose hollow out the belly hug up and in shoulders over wrists set the foot help it forward and then rock back and forth circles, and coming into low lunge, root down through the four corners of your left foot, standing splits. So you always want to keep your, your standing leg with a little micro bend. Dial the right pinky toe down and fold here. Strong in the lifted leg, inhale, knee to nose. So bend the left knee, hug the right knee in, almost like you could stomp your foot down and come into chair. Two more. Inhale. Knee to nose. Inhale. Knee to nose. And then we'll transfer to Jiva. So inhale. Jiva squat. Right foot to the side. Inhale. Press it back. Exhale. Jiva. Inhale. Press it back. Exhale. Jiva. And press it back, step back with control, low lunge, drop the right knee, crescent move. Bring the arms up, lengthen the side body, navel to spine, so you're really engaging your core. Open the heart. 
Hands down, half Hanuman. Straighten the left leg. Square up the hips. You're going to point and flex. Hold the flex. Lift the sternum and chest. Again, this is a great place for blocks if your hamstrings are tight. And fold forward. Every exhale, get a little deeper, a little more attention into the posture. And then again, inhale, lengthen, bring your right hand on the outside, that lovely IT band says hello. <laughs> All right, walk it back around, low lunge, and then straight up, crescent lunge. Checking your alignment here. Lower ribs draw back. Inhale. As you exhale, warrior two. So you're just dropping the back foot, making it parallel to the back of the mat. Left knees tracking over left pinky toe. Inhale. And exhale. Right hand to your thigh. Flip the left hand. Inhale, lengthen the left side body. High five the back wall. Keep this in the side body rather than the back. Inhale. Exhale, extended side. Elbow to knee or hand to the floor. Whatever you did on the other side, try to balance the sides and do that same thing on this side. And then we'll flow just twice. So inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Bring that right arm over the ear line and reach. Last one, inhale, and exhale. All right, drop the shoulder, low lunge, high plank, or ekapada. You can go through your vinyasa to downward facing dog. All right, so we're gonna add the weights now. So in down dog, just take a breath or two. Inhale the right leg high. Bring it all the way through to low lunge. All right, so you have the option to elevate your hands if you want to use your weights, either on the ends, but we're coming to standing splits, okay? So standing splits, and we're going to start with the knee to the nose, okay? So inhale, just like we did in, in Sun B, you're going to bring the knee to the nose, and I want you to engage the core. Nine more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, press it back, knee to nose. Six. So use the breath. You're inhaling as you press back. Exhale, hug it in. In five. Four. Three. Two. And last one, knee to nose. All right, moving into Jiva. Standing splits. Inhale, big twist. Exhale. Nine more. Inhale, press. Exhale, twist. So you're tapping your toenails on the floor. Eight. Inhale, press it back. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. In two, hold Jiva, and one. So now flip over the toes and have your knees apart enough so you're gonna grab your weights. All right, I'm gonna face towards you. So you just have enough space to do this plie squat, all right? But I'm gonna have you tee out your arms. So from elbow to underarm, it's parallel to the ground. As you come up, close the book. As you plie squat, open and close. Squeeze on the way up, squeeze on the way down. Inhale, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, we'll hold the low point, and one, all right? Hold the low point. Bring the weights to your shoulders, all right? Root down through the four corners of your right foot, left leg lifts. All right, so let's do the side. 
feet together, shoulder press, sit into chair pose. All right, as you come back up, lift the left leg. Got it? Squat, press. Good. Seven. Six. So five more. Oops. Four. I don't know about you, but my heart rate is at three. Two and one. Whew. All right. Shake it out. A lot of times when I do shoulder presses, you bring it into your neck. So roll out your neck, release your neck. All right. From here, we're going to lean over like you're going to do a deadlift. Okay. Athletic stance. Let the hands fall heavy. All right. Flat back. You're gonna start, start with a pull, straight up, then a tricep kick. Come back, hands down. Pull straight up, tricep, just bend at the elbows and down. Straight up, pull back, tricep, back to center, down. Pull, tricep, center, back down. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. So you're finding the full range here. Elbows can't go up any higher. Tricep kickback, not any higher. Reach. <sighs> Inhale, as you're coming down. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, press. Let's do three more. Shake it out. Shake out your neck. All right. I did these last week. I kind of like them. So it's a modification or a little bit different goblet squat. I'm going to give your arms a little rest. Well, sort of. You're going to isometrically press the weights together. Feet are about 20 inches apart, toes slightly out, right? So you're going to sit back in your squat and come straight up. All right. So the next one, you're going to come to the side. Goblet squat and center. Okay? So we're just coming from the side to the center. Kind of takes your mind off the squat. Because <laughs> you have to think too much. Just make sure you've got good squat technique. Right? Down and up. And be nice to your knees, going down a little bit too, too much it makes them not happy. Don't go down as low. Three more. Two more. Press the weights together. We get lazy. All right, last one. Whew. Awesome. All right, shake it out. Set your weights at the top of the mat. I'm already grabbing a drink. We're going to go through vinyasa. So weights down, top of the mat, mountain pose. Inhale, right hand down, lift and open. Inhale up, left hand down, lift and open. Inhale, cactus it out. Inhale. And feel free to go through your vinyasa slow. Inhale halfway. Plant the hands. High plank. Your vinyasa. To down dog. And just take a breath or two here. We're going to do the other side. So inhale, left leg high. Low lunge. All right, you're setting up for standing splits. You can use the weights again. I just like to have that little elevation. All right, inhale. 
Knee to nose, hug it in. You should really be using the core here. Nine more, press on the inhale, squeeze, knee to nose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hug it in, and one. All right, standing splits. Make sure your foot and the right is flexed. Inhale, big Jiva squat. Inhale, press it back, lift it high, Jiva. Inhale, press, and Jiva. Six, and five, four, three, two, Last one, hold Jiva, flip the toes, lift the weights up, All right? So this time, left foot is forward. You're gonna tee out the arms. As you come up, close the book. Elbows touch, hands touch. And down, inhale, exhale. Make sure you're breathing. Give me seven. Squeeze on the way down, squeeze on the way up. Five more, four, three, two, and one. All right, hold it low, bring the weights to your shoulders. All right, we're down through the four corners of your left foot, right leg lift. All right, feet together, closed squat, Shoulder press, pull it down and press. Shoulder press, leg lift. Shoulder press, squat, leg lift. Those are a doozy. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hopefully, I got your heart rate up. <laughs> okay. Oh, shake it up. All right. Okay, so we're gonna lean over again. Athletic stance. You're gonna lean over like you're doing on the deadlift. Arms hang, navel to spine. All right, pull straight back. Tricep press. Back to that pull-up position and reach. Press the elbows up, tricep, reach. Now make sure you're really drawing the ribs together. Five more. Four. Three, two, and one. Give me one more. All right, stand up. Whew. Heart rate is going crazy. All right, this time, goblet squats. We're just gonna turn the right foot to the side. So, feet or toes slightly out, sit back. All right, swing to the side. Press the weights together, isometric. Go at your own pace. All right, the form is more important than how fast you're going. Inhale as you lower. Five, we're gonna come back to center and really burn it out. All right, four. Three. Two. Last one. All right, come back to center. I just need 10 more. 
Straight up and down. Nine. Really press the weights together. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. You guys look good. Two. And one. Woo! All right, shake it out. Go ahead and set your weights at the top of the mat. Grab a drink, and then you're going to meet me seated on your mat. I'm going to do some belly up. about a position, okay? Hands behind your head. I don't like you to interlace them. I just want you to keep your fingertips behind your ear and your chin up, okay? All right, from here, lift your chest. Draw the lower back down, all right? As you inhale, lower two inches. As you exhale, drive it straight up. <sighs> inhale, lower, always the lower back is down on the mat. You want to make this harder, lift your feet an inch. Okay, inhale down, exhale up. But if you do lift the legs, just make sure there's no space underneath your lower back, all right? So you're contracted the whole time. You're just lifting up a little higher. Eight, seven, in six, you're going to hold the high point. Five, four, three, two. Hold it here. All right, now press your into your toes and lift your feet. All right, so you're in this lifted position. You're going to bring your right elbow to your right knee. Inhale, lift and center. Left elbow, left knee. Inhale. <sighs> Inhale. Really stretch, contract through the obliques. So you're shortening the side body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, woo, and one. All right, go ahead and relax, roll out the lower back yourself a moment here. And now we're going to go into either bicycles or scissors. So just the difference is the legs are straight. It's a little harder with scissors. So again, fingertips behind the ear, right knee into your chest, you're lifted, right? Right elbow to the outside of the left, or left elbow on the outside of the right thigh and alternate. or straight. But same idea, you guys, the lower back is down. The exhale is when you're twisting. All right, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, knees to your chest. Go ahead and come up to seat. We got one more. And we're going to come into boat, okay? We're going to do, uh, well, I'll get to that in a sec. So set up boat. Make sure you're on your sit bones. Hands underneath your knees. Shoulders back and down. So what I want you to avoid is this, right? Chest is lifted, all right? Lift the right leg, lift the left leg. Lower back issues stay right here. No need to, to do the kickouts. If you want to do the kickouts, you're going to bring your knees to your nose as you reach forward, okay? And then press it back. Inhale, reach. Exhale. <sighs> bring as close as you can. Contract the core. Eight. <sighs> Seven. <sighs> Six. <sighs> five. <sighs> four. Three. Two and one. Hold it here. Five, four, three, two, 
two, and one, relax. All right, all right. Go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna come to bridge. So set up bridge, feet hip width, your fingertips should be able to touch your heels. Option here is to bring the weights to your hips. Now I really want you to keep your hips square here. All right, so you can hold the weights just so they don't fall off. Inhale, as you exhale, lift straight up. Right here, up and down. Try to keep the knees pressing closer towards each other rather than, than coming out, okay? 10, nine, in eight, we're gonna hold the high point, seven, six, five, really squeeze, four, three, two, and hold the high point. Weight straight up. Elbows with a micro bend. You're just gonna, these are called skull crushers. So you're going to bend the elbows and then bring it straight up. All right. Keep the hips high. Don't let gravity win. In nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Bring the weights back to your hips, up and down. Just 10 more of these. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Set the weights to the sides. Knees to your chest. Now roll out the lower back. And we're going to rock and roll up into garland pose, malasana. So we're rocking back and forth, toes point out, right? Knee issues, you can sit on a block, right? If this really bugs your knees, you can just come to Supta Baya, okay? All right, so if you are all the way in malasana, garland pose, you're going to press your triceps into your thighs, push the knees open, and then zip it up from tailbone to head. Close your eyes. Find that little more cadence of breath. All right, from here, we're gonna come into gorilla pose. So send the hips high, bring the feet parallel. So options, you can, you can place your hand underneath each foot, right? Or grab your big toes. And use your triceps to create a little bit more space in your hamstrings. Release your hands, bring your feet together. Mountain pose, inhale. Hands to heart. Ankali Mudra. All right. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Take your time going through this vinyasa. Inhale halfway. High plank. Go through your vinyasa and come into downward dog. All right. Our second sun B sculpt. Inhale, right leg high. Low lunge. Help your foot forward if you need to. All right, from here, you can grab, I'm just using threes today. You're gonna to come up to crescent lunge. Keep the hands to your sides. All right, now find that neutral pelvis. All right, lower ribs draw back. You're gonna set up like you're gonna do a bicep curl. So the palms are up. As you inhale, flip your hands down, reach forward. As you exhale, pull it back. So you're flipping, reach, and pull back. All right, so you can stay upright. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna reach into it and start to straighten the front leg. So option here. Sometimes this bugs people's lower back. If it just really does, you can always come up to chair pose. All right, five, four, 
three, two, and one. All right, bring your hands to your heart space. All right, we're gonna alternate. Navel to spine. So again, you can really reach. So it's right arm forward, left arm back, back to heart center. Left arm forward, right back, center. Reach, center. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, warrior two. All right, shake that right glute out if you need to. But come into a nice warrior two. Not a wimpy warrior two. All right, from here, bring your arms up, micro bend, palms up. Horizontal bicep curl. Nice and slow. Stay here. If you want, you can straighten the right leg. 10. And if you do straighten the right leg, you're really pulling up through the kneecap, engaging the quads. Five, four, three. Now watch your shoulders. Two and one. Keep the weights on your shoulders. All right, you're gonna reach up, pull down. Inhale up, exhale. It's eight, neck is long, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, horse. So turn both toes slightly out, all right? So you don't want to be completely in plie. You're in a horse squat, your tailbone's underneath, um, so you're in one line, you're not hinging forward. Tailbone to head, bring the weights to your hips, low as you can, track the knees over the pinkies, and little pulses right here. Chest is lifted, shoulders back and down. Right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stay nice and low. All right, weights to the shoulders again. Don't worry, we're not doing shoulder presses. Left elbow to right knee, inhale center. So obliques, snap it back to center. Exhale, inhale. We'll do about five more of these, and then we're gonna add a um, punch, a twist to punch. Four, three, two, and one. All right, hands are still to the shoulders. You're gonna punch, bring it back to your heart. How about bringing the weights to your heart? And then punch, center, center. So you're twisting, punching, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, stay low. I know your quads are burning. Numbers face me, reverse fly. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale lower, exhale. Inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, whew, three, two, nice guys, and one, all right, warrior two again, right knee leads, last little bit of work here, Bring the weights in your left hand, right elbow to your knee. You're just gonna reach and pull back, okay? If you wanna challenge yourself even more here, as you, you'll pull back, reach forward, drop it down and pull back. So either just right here, right, or here, parallel, down, and back. Reach, down. So whichever you choose, five, four, 
two. Last one. All right, go ahead and plant the weights, pivot, step it back. All right, stay in plank. All right, options. We got 30 seconds. You're gonna stay, you can stay in plank or dolphin plank, forearm plank, or you can do the push-ups. So these push-ups, we're gonna you'll come back into extended triangle or extended child's pose. Come forward, push up, back. All right, 30 seconds, plank, or these funky push-ups. About halfway there. So when you're doing push-ups, you exhale as you press up. Inhale back to child's pose. Inhale. Hang on. All right. I always go over in these classes. All right. We got to do the other side, though. So come to down dog. Inhale the left leg high. Low lunge. Grab your weights. Crescent lunge. All right, starting bicep curl. Draw the ribs together, right? You're gonna reach forward, palms down, and then pull it back. Reach, pull, reach. 10, 9, navel in, and remember you can come up to chair pose if this bothers you, 5, 4, 3, 2, gosh, and 1, alright, hands to heart, navel in, alternate, left arm forward, Right arm back, back to chest. Right arm forward, left back. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, weigh your two. All right, this time, um, now we're gonna do the same thing. Bicep, horizontal bicep curls. 10, nine, keep this out of your neck. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. We'll go right into lawnmower pulls. Left elbow to your knee. Again, you can just reach straight back. Just find the right weight for you. Or reach forward, down, pull. Reach, down, pull. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Uh, all right. Set the weights. Go ahead and come all the way on to your back. Apologize. I've got to stretch you out now. Come on to your back. Let's come into either figure four stretch or you're gonna hug the baby. So for either one, right foot up over, ankle clears the thigh arm. So your options is to thread the right hand through, grab your knee, right? Or want a little more intensity, you'll bring your right foot to your left elbow crease, hug that shin into your chest. Now you can stay here or extend the left leg out. It's kind of a counterbalance, all right? So either figure four stretch or here. And 
and then go ahead and come back to that figure four setup, right? Cactus the arms, keep this, this shape, and just bring your right foot to the mat. So we've got a nice supine twist. Breathe into your right side body. Come back to center. Switch it out. Left over right. Either thread the left hand through the legs, grab your knee, or rock the baby. I really don't know what this pose is called. So again, you can keep the counterbalance or straighten the leg. Coming back to figure four setup. Cactus the arms, inhale, keep the shape in your legs, but just twist to the right. Find that supine twist, and then find the pathway of your breath all along the left side body. Then <sighs> come back to center. Let's bring both knees into the chest, little apanasana, roll it around on your spine. And then bringing the knees into the chest, grab your right big toe with your peace fingers and extend the right leg up, okay? So you're stretching your hamstring. And then we're gonna come to half dead buck. So Hold your right toe, bring your right thigh bone on the outside of the ribs, and then you can switch your, your hand so it's pressing down. So your thigh bone's on the outside of the ribs. Let's come back, knees to chest. Peace fingers on the left foot. Left leg extends up the best you can. And then half dead bug on this side. And again, you can switch it so the palm, the hand is on the inside. I'll give you a little bit more. And then knees into the chest. Extend both legs up your imaginary wall. And then dead bug. And so in this full dead bug, any movement that feels good. And as always, if there's another pose you wanna do, do that. Otherwise, go ahead and come into your final asana. Any other move that feels good. I think today I'm gonna to come in with my, instead of Shavasana, I'm gonna come in have my feet wide, have my knees collapse together. So whatever posture you pick, as always, you wanna find a pose where you can be still. Check in with your breath. In your body for any tension that's not necessary. Sometimes we squeeze the eyes and wrinkle up our brow. Just let it go. this short but I have gone over again so wherever you are take one more full body stretch 
Inhale. And just side up. Bending one knee at a time. Take your time as you come up into seat. Thank you guys. Sorry I went over. I tend to write too much <laughs> or talk too much, one of the two. But I'm truly grateful for each one of you. Thanks so much for showing up. Please come as often as you'd like. Um, it's great to see you all. Bringing your thumbs to your third eye. In gratitude, may there be peace in your minds and may there be peace in your hearts. Namaste.